Okay, I want to show you how I made a glide cam myself, what everybody's got other stuff on the video that on um, YouTube that they've made, and I just wanted to show what I had done. And basically what I had did was I had uh, used a, what you call a rose joint, I guess what they call that. And I'm just going to take this whole thing apart here. This right here was a, uh, as you see, was a hinge to a door. It's uh, and I just kind of flattened it out, and then right here, the, the the hole that was in the center, I had used a tap and die, and I had, you know, had threaded the center right here, and I put a screw. I mean, I drilled a hole right there, and I did the same thing there. That's the only problem I did. I shouldn't have done that one right there, but uh, as you see, I'm gonna. It's probably gonna take me longer to unscrew all these bolts than it is anything else. On the back right here, what I did is I had put um, little weights from a barbell. You know, instead of having that, uh, instead of having that, see if you can see, there's just some washers there. There's, a, there's another one. I'll try to put these in sequence, sequence the way that I had taken them off. This is a little, from a skate, little bearing, because I was thinking about using the bearing deal like some of the people were doing for the gimbal. And these are just little plastic inserts. Now, what I was wanting to do besides this was just get like a some plastic, some <clears throat> some uh, tubing or something. This one right here is the only one that I can't get off because because I had put it on there. But that's all you really need is the tubing. You don't really need all of this other stuff. All these little pieces like this. I just put them on there because it fit because I needed it to to put the screws and everything exactly where I needed them at. <clears throat> Anyway, there's the there's the rod of it, and the rod was actually this was actually a uh, for a go kart, you know, the steering column for a go kart. But all you're gonna need to do if you ever go to the store, just go get you a piece of all thread, you know, I would say about two feet long or so, and then uh, and then you can order these little these little rose joints off of uh, eBay. Now you can either this one the, the female end is what I got right here, and what I have right here, this is just a handle to a uh, scraper, scrape, on, scrape the ice off your car and I just cut it, you know, and it seemed to fit perfectly well for whenever I'm holding the glide cam. So I had put it like this and uh, these are just ball barrel, bar, barbell, you know, that screws on the end of the barbell to keep the weights from coming off. And I was just thinking because people put these parts on here on the bottom of this and then they have that little thing that goes across. My phone's ringing. And then it goes across here like that, and they have the little weights on either side like that. Well, it doesn't really matter. What you need to have is just weight down on the center, like the other ones you've seen the guys have made the one put the weight on the bottom. Because as long as the weight holds it down, it, it, you know, it doesn't matter if they're on the side. It's just got to hold it down so it's not swaying back and forth like this. But anyway, this is how I had done it, and I had just put this together. And uh, these right here were just little things from a, from a vacuum cleaner, you know, like the little small attachment you put on a shop vac or whatever that goes to a small thing or whatever. But again, these aren't really what's needed. All you really need is to get some kind of tubing or something on here, like maybe some radiator hose and, and you know, but small. It needs to be really small like this. And the reason why is because whenever you put this on here, whenever you put this here, you want this. When you got, when you got the gimbal on here, it doesn't really have a whole lot of movement, so having little bitty ends, having little bitty ends right in here allows this to move more, if you can get that in there, well, see that, it gives the movement. So if this was thicker, so if I turn this around and put this like this and I had a bigger one like that, it's going to limit the movement of that, see? so. By making that small on the other side, it actually works out great. And then you just put this back on here like so. Put the screw back in there. Like I said, it's going to take me longer to screw in these screws than anything else or whatever, but it's, it, it works out pretty good. I don't have any, other, any problem with it other than that I actually threaded with the, with the uh, tap and die set there. I actually threaded the thread that goes into the... Uh, and these right here just slide in here. And all this, all this little attachment is right here is just to save space going all the way up here to this. So if I had just had one tubing going all the way up, that's what all I would need. I wouldn't need all this other junk right here that I've got.
Let me put this in here. And these right here, just to keep these from moving around, it keeps them, keeps them kind of uniform. So see that how that fits on there. Other than that, I'll just need to figure out something else with that later on. But right now, that works just fine. And I still actually got some more space right here. I was, you know, later on, I think maybe going all the way down because of the weights. And it actually looks pretty decent too. It doesn't really look too bad. Let's see. And then the other part goes up on here. Uh, I used one of my washers down there that I shouldn't have used. But uh, this just screws onto here. Sorry about that, trying to get this on here. This goes right here. This is what keeps it here. Like I said, this is threaded on also. This actually goes this way. And then it goes to where it's just flush, like you don't have the camera. So I just put it in there to where it's not, this isn't really sticking out. And then this goes in here. I had, once you got it like this here, you're going to have to, uh, once you have it here like this, you have it like this, you're going to need to set your camera, whatever camera that you've got. And I would suggest like doing it over your bed, a bunch of pillows, and kind of set your camera on there to where you think that it's going to balance it. And then wherever it balances that, that's where you're going to need to put your screw. So that's what I did. And I did that with my DSLR. Now, like this little camera right here doesn't really matter. But my DSLR that I'm recording with right now, it's got the battery pack more over here on this side. So I needed to move it over. You know, the center of gravity needed to be over here. So this was the only problem that I had did whenever I had done this, was that I had put this, I had threaded this. And I, I, I shouldn't have threaded that little hole right there. I should have just made it a hole for whenever I put this in here. This is the only problem I have whenever I'm doing this, is that it's kind of difficult. You're not really used to doing something like this until you actually make this thing, and then you realize that that's what your problem is. See how it moves around there like that? Now, it wouldn't be doing that if I had threaded it on there. But if I do it right, you know, I've, I've got to really watch it, and then I can pull it down to where it's tight. But right there, there it is. And it just kind of, and then you can use, you can grab right here as you're holding it, and you use this part right here, what's not tightened up enough. Like I said, what I was going to do was tape that all, uh, I was going to, if this would be a whole lot better if this was just one piece and not moving around. And then you can use this to move your camera around. But So that little screw that I've got right there is actually the only problem that I have with this. And the only problem is that I, I threaded it. I shouldn't have threaded it. Because if it wasn't threaded, it'd just go right through and pull, it'd pull the camera down. But anyway, there it is. And works just fine. I haven't done, had, I've done a test video on it, but I, you know, I did it on previous, on previous other things. So I didn't include it on this video. So I'm just, I was just showing what I had done, how I had made this glide cam. But uh, it works out pretty good, and like I said, these weights right here just and they actually look they actually look neat, you know. They don't look all awkward and stuff like that, and it, you know. And there it is. It seems to work out just fine. Pretty neat, huh? Like I said, with that rose joint, with that rose joint right there, with that moving all of the ways that it goes, this part right here doesn't need to swivel like you see in the other ones because it already has. In the other gimbals, they have the one moving that goes. You know, you know, up and down, and then you need the other one to go side to side. Well, this does all, all of them all at once, so you don't need this handle to move. So this handle can be stationary to where, you know, ergonomically for your hand. So I have it kind of pivoted. So if you're looking at this from the side, I'm holding it like this. So it's ergonomically for my hand there like that. So, But anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I just wanted to show my little gimbal thing that I had made. Thanks.